welcome to Chic Holstein. I'm Sheila and I'm going to show you today the process I use to hand stamp jewelry. I'm going to show you some of the pieces I use, the equipment I have, the hammers. We're going to go through pretty much all of it. So follow along with me and we're going to have a great time together today. Okay? So this is how I start almost all of my pieces. This is actually a stone polisher. Polishes stones. We're just going to unplug it. Ooh, she's a little warm. So I don't know if any of you have ever used a stone polisher kit like when you were in high school and you had to do those stone studies um, or learn about stones and you had to polish them. Anyway, I did it in 4-H and this polisher has been with me for decades. So it's an old, it's an oldie but a goodie. So when I'm doing the polishing, I just add a little dish soap in there, just a squirt. You will see it's pretty soapy. So here is a beautifully polished stainless steel blank. This has been polishing for roughly three hours today. And I run it through my handy dandy strainer. And in here you'll see all these different shapes of beads. Um, there's a special word for it. I don't know what it is. But that's what makes all of my stuff so pretty and shiny. And look how shiny these are. Just beautiful. It saves me a lot of time at the end of the process because, oh man, look how beautiful and shiny that is. And I'll show you a before and after too if we can um, do that. <clears throat> and I just rinse these off, dry them up a little bit. So again, I think we've been polishing two, three hours in the polisher. Just nice, bright, shiny colors. All right, so we're gonna go into the studio and uh, go through some other, the next pieces that I do. You can tell this is the one I polished. It's highly polished. This one has little grid lines in it because I didn't polish that one. And the same with these pieces. This one is highly polished, much more shiny than this piece is. And you can see from when it was cut, there's some blemishes on this piece. So by polishing it, we've shined it up and made it extra pretty for our customers, which is the whole goal. Every farm girl needs their own set of hammers, right? Yeah. Well, actually every hand stamp jewelry maker needs their own set of hammers. So this is a variety of my hammers that I have. So now we're gonna move on to what are called in our industry um, simple dimples, accent pieces, etc. I have a lot of them. A lot of people have more than I do. But this is an oldie but a goodie. I got this off the of D-Stash site. And I don't, you can tell, this is balloons floating up, mason jars. The larger the simple dimple, the more difficult it is to stamp. So you really gotta whack them. These are some smaller ones. This is a pumpkin shape. This is a flower. So you can see they come in all different shapes, sizes. You can get them music, outdoors, borders, mountains. Sky is really the limit. All right, so you can see we have tons of different blanks. The blanks come in stainless steel. This is the hardest metal to stamp. The next one is this aluminum, which is fairly easy to stamp. There are different gauges of aluminum. This is my favorite stuff to stamp, pewter. It stamps like Butter. Here's a heart shape made out of pewter. Love that one too. And I add a little birthstone on there and an initial usually. Another of my favorites is copper. I love to flame paint the copper. See, I have all different shapes, stars, hearts, 
um, mountains, rectangles, swirly shapes, um, dog tags, all kinds of different varieties of things that I use when I am creating a piece for people. Now we're on to fonts. These are different styles of fonts. This is called Lollipop. This is a great one for kids' projects. I love using this for kids, like for their names and all that great stuff. This is my favorite one. This is 5mm Margarita. Love it. Use it a lot. This is a 5mm Hello Sweetheart. It has little hearts on the ends of it. It's just adorable. This is Hideaway. This is just a nice font that I use for um, like a basic feeling, like words like the or off or and because you don't want to use all the same font for everything. You want to change it up a little bit. This is my newest, most loved font. Look how huge that those letters are. It's just beautiful. If I'm doing um, initials, monograms this year are huge. So these are just a few of the sets I have. So now we're going to be, today we're going to stamp out a aluminum bracelet. And we'll go through the process of stamping it, painting it, and turning it so you, it goes from flat into a cuff that will fit on your wrist. So here we go. And we are stamping out the creative place. Holding it steady, giving it a nice firm, not too hard of a whack. This is aluminum, so you don't have to whack it as hard as you do on some other metals. There we go. We have that stamped out. So I am so excited to be here on the creative place. And so I have created this, the creative place aluminum cuff bracelet. So we're gonna go now and color it. And this is actually gonna look pretty close to uh, the creative place logo. We're gonna take this is just normal everyday shoe polish. We put a bunch of shoe polish on our Q-tip and we're gonna just stick to the word creative to the best of our ability. And we're really gonna push this shoe polish into it. So we're gonna wipe away the extra. Now the logo, the word the, and the word place are in green. So I'm gonna take this everyday uh, permanent marker and I'm gonna fill in. Now it's important to let this dry just a little bit so it seeps in there. We're gonna add the colors to our little dots. Now sometimes you may wanna do several coats of the same colors just so it's really on there. Um, you may need to go back and fill in colors from time to time. Otherwise, what I have found too is a nice coat of just clear nail polish kind of helps seal the deal. So now we're just gonna go take a little dab of our san hand sanitizer on a just little piece of paper towel. We're just gonna go very, very lightly over it. So we get that excess off. Quickly to make this into a cuff, I am going to use this little pliers. Cough 
the beauty of these cuffs too is that you can bring it out, make it bigger, push it in, and make it smaller. So there we have it, our creative place, cuff 